Alright, how's it going guys? My name is KC, and welcome to Project Readjusted 2. This is another Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that came out a couple weeks ago. I've been wanting to give it a try for you guys for a while now, and I finally got around to doing just that. So we're going to go ahead and play through Nights 1 and 2 of this game, and see what we've got in store for us. So, without saying anything else, let's start a fresh new game. Okay, we've got Dots. After, okay, just gotta quit whenever I'm done reading. He just disappeared. I must find him again. I have so many questions. I could possibly get answers from the new Buster's location. That location is currently being renovated, but they must need some kind of guard. He could be hiding there after all this time. Well, let's see where this takes me in my hunt to find him. End of tape. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Whew. Night one. Staring at Buster will stop him in his tracks. Use this flaw in his AI to your advantage, especially when the tapes in Cam 1 aren't fully charged. Okay, who's Buster? Is he active on this night? Six hours until the shifts end. Bro, this is a completely different office. This is different than anything I've ever seen before. What the fuck is that? I don't go too in depth, but back in our old location, which I would call you work there, not sure, but we did have characters that were in working condition for a short while until we shut down. Once we shut down, we moved locations to here, where we, as a corporation, will begin to renovate this facility into a fully functioning diner. So we have lots of steps until we are anywhere near our ideal final product. Anyway, my point is that we made new animatronics for this attraction. I'm not sure if employees have already These are the animatronics right here. We have begun making new models for the new attraction. One of them being Buster, the main star of the place. The Buster. In his early stages, he can still operate. So we haven't fixed some problems with him, such as the gaping hole in the back of him and some wires that have gone loose. Should be working fine anyway. We did reuse a chip from the old diner as one that supplies free movement. Should be all good to go. I'm glad we were able to salvage such great technology, am I right? Anywho, there's one key feature to the new Buster that isn't found in the older chips, which is a fully audible voice with custom commands. Although we did link some of the AI to the things he says, it should all be working. We also gave him the ability to begin projecting important show dates through his voice box when he gets close to noise. We also have a speaker in Cam 1 that can remind anyone to go to the show stage for Buster's next performance. Okay. I'm guessing if he does become mobile, he would begin saying a date when he's closest to you. Don't be alarmed. All you need to do is just enter in what he says on Cam 1. It's as easy as that, isn't it? Anyway, for your first night, you should all be set. We do have some mandatory work after your shift, so I'll call you then. I all right. Something that will blow your mind tomorrow that I forgot to enable on your camera's tablet, so be ready. Something that's going to blow my mind. Okay. All right. I'm not looking forward to that at all. So, um, what he said was uh, Buster, the animatronic that will be coming after me tonight. Apparently, it's just him and nobody else, so... That's good. Although I would like it if none of them came after me at all. But hey, that's not how Final Fantasy Freddy's themed games works. And I'm pretty sure that that's him right there. So he's on his way. He is on his way here. So, how he works is... Oh my god, look at this guy. What a nice looking model. It's scary, but nice. So he's going to say uh, the date of his show. Like Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I have to enter it in here. Did he say... What did he say? Wednesday? Don't be late. Buster show today. Wednesday in the dining room. Did I do it? Well, I'm not dead yet. So, I think I did it. Thursday, Thursday. He said Thursday. 
I fucked up. Oh, yeah, see, he's there. I'm, I fucked up. He said Thursday, not Wednesday. I'm dead. Oh, rip. Best way to start the video ever. Everybody, take your headphones off right now. If you're watching this, take your headphones off right now. There's a jump scare coming. Well, I warned you. Oh my fucking god. Bruh, this guy ripped my head off and shoved up. Oh, okay, no, no, no. My head wasn't ripped off. He he, he just shoved a giant pole in, down my throat. That's a pretty disturbing way to go. Okay, let's try again. Why did I hit start a new game? Whatever, we were on night one. So we can go ahead and skip all this shit right here. His show days are audible when he's close up on cam 5 or cam 7. Alright, cam 5 or cam 7. Skip the phone call. So, cam 5 or cam 7 is where I can hear his show dates. And then I have to go to cam 1 and enter them in order to save my skin. Is he out? Oh, yeah, he's out. Alright, so I gotta wait till he gets to Cam 7. Okay, he's moving over to Cam 7 right now. Can you say your show date, please? Thursday. Okay, he teleported back here. That means I did it. Alright. Okay, we did it. We got him. Alright, good to know. So he restarts his cycle back here on this camera. That's good to know. And he's already back here. Right next to my office. Alright, gotta listen. Tuesday. The show is today, children. Tuesday. This is easy. I like this. Where'd he go? Where the fuck did he go? I lost him. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. And his mouth is wide open. So he's taking this way this time. Monday. He said Monday, I think. Okay. He's a sneaky motherfucker, is he? He tried going this way this time. Alright, which way are you gonna go, dude? This way. Alright. Cam 7. Now just gotta wait for him to say his show date. Just wait for him to come right here to say his show dates. Wednesday. Don't be late. Bust your show today. Wednesday in the dining room. Alright. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that sounded depressing. Okay, but apparently the nights in this game, um, they end at 3 a.m. and not 6 a.m. Okay, something isn't right. Papers are coming in about a missing person. A missing person at the old Busters. It must have been the spy that Matthew took care of. He's on the prowl, and I will end it in this place. There's no way I can fail this. His tracks are so hidden, yet so predictable. I just need more clues. End of tape. Alright, last night, and then we'll call that today's video. So, let's continue. Let's see what else the game's gonna throw at me now that we're on the second night. Your radar will eventually break and will be in need of repair. Be cautious about... So that's what that's the quote-unquote special thing phone guy said he was going to add into my camera um, on night two. Uh, radar. What's this? Air ducts? Oh, no. <sighs> You've got shit that'll be coming at me from the vents. Great. Make sure to repair the equipment too. Just 
Oh, great. And equipment can go offline, too? Well, one last thing before I leave you hanging. Let's say Buster is already coming back quickly to your room since he's attracted by noise. And the equipment and Cam 1 isn't done repairing. Just stir it. Whenever you switch cameras, a small light will be illuminated, indicating that the camera is on, which will catch his attention. Probably. Oh, well, good night. I'll see you later. What? I'm not ready for this, guys. All right, let's use the radar. Okay, something's in the vents, but it's right there. So we just gotta worry about Buster and whatever this thing is in the vents. Right, game? Okay, Buster's out. All right, this thing in the vents is moving. I gotta keep an eye on Buster while watching this thing in the vents. Shouldn't be too hard of a task. But it's going to get harder as I pro progress through the game, if you guys want me to. Tuesday. All right. Fuck, I didn't mean to, to hit that. Oh shit, come on, come on, come on. Repair the doors, I gotta lock this bitch out. Repair the fucking doors, hurry up! All right. This is getting hectic now. Okay, I didn't lose Buster. All right, there he is. All right, that thing's locked out. I know how to take care of that thing in the vents. Buster's not saying his show date yet. Monday. Buster's big show is today, Monday. Oh, we're at 2 a.m. already. fuck is Buster? There he is, okay. Whatever that thing in the vents is, it's locked out, so we don't have to worry about it. Thursday. Alright, we just got rid of the thing in the vents. I wish this shit would repair faster. Okay. Fix the doors. Well, just, just lock the doors. Okay. Alright. I was a little bit nervous at first. I thought I would find myself getting overwhelmed. Because we've got two different animatronics with two completely different mechanics. But it was easy. Okay. Hmm... I can't decide on what to do. This whole situation is terrible. One wrong step and I'm in jail or potentially executed. I'm not fail I'm not falling into that hole of guilt with no way to release it. But damn, the corpse inside that glancer suit has definitely got to be the spy. What else would Matthew have done to the body? Thrown it out? No way. I got my evidence. Now I just have to find Matthew himself. I can't be stopped now. End of tape. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I said I would only play through Nights 1 and 2, both which were hella easy. Expect another video on this game very soon because I like it. I like its mechanics. They're unique but simple. The game gives you tips. And it hasn't fucked me over yet, unlike in Jolly 3. But that's probably going to change real quick from Night 3 onward because it's pretty much common knowledge that shit gets real in Night 3. And I'm probably going to find myself frustrated and even raging the fuck out. But all of that is going to wait until the next episode. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Take care.
and I will see you in the next one. Now, now.